the place for comic book and anime reviews. This is so exciting, you guys! This is so exciting! Oh my gosh! Last night was crazy. That was insane. Wow. Wow. Um, so, first thing, the, um, if you don't know, the Marvel panel was leaked online. So, I got to watch the entire panel um, from those leaks. And um, it was last night. And um, got all Phase 4 announced. Phase 4, just in its entirety, it's here. It's happening. And wow. It, it doesn't seem to be a short phase. It's going to be a very short phase, seeing like for phase four and then going straight into phase five. Uh, it's going to be a, like, I heard news that the rumors that it was going to be a short phase. It's definitely a very short phase. Um, they didn't talk about um, any of the, stuff, the main stuff, like the Garden of the Galaxy 3 or anything like that. Cause I guess that's not going to be part of the next phase. That's going to, I guess, be down the line after phase four. Um, but they did bring up a lot of stuff. For one, the fact that Disney Plus is actually going to be part of the phase. Like, Disney Plus shows are actually going to be a major integral part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they're actually going to be part of Phase 4. Um, and I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. But, uh, let's, let's, let's just, let's, let's just get into this. Um, for one second. Because, let's just look at everything that has hit the webs of for phase four um and everything we're going to get so the first movie for phase four which is no surprise um to anyone that this was going to be the first one like i don't think anyone was like expecting it to be anything differently than what we, we kind of got um, here, and that seems to be that the ne the next one is going to be um, Black Widow. Uh, we are going to be getting a Black Widow um, movie first. I think the first one to come out is Black Widow, and that's already um that surprised me. Obviously, uh, we kind of expected. For it to be some that would be like lower in scale, probably a lower budget uh, for it as well. Um, it would be like a little bit smaller to do. It wouldn't be as um, much of a uh, hardship for them to um, kind of get a Black Widow movie out with Scarlett Johansson. Um, they also announced the entire cast. I mean, like it's pretty much an all female cast by the looks of it. Um, which is interesting. Um, so there's a lot of women actually going to be really involved in the MCU going forward. Um, a lot of different women, obviously Valkyrie being the new queen of Asgard. Um, and let's get into it. Okay, so we got Black Widow, um, coming. Um, then we have the Falcon Winter Soldier show, which I'm excited for as a massive Captain America fan. Um, really excited for Falcon Winter Soldier. Uh, he doesn't look like he does have the shields on there, so you know he still calls it the Falcon. Um, the shield is on the um screen, so we still know he's gonna be wielding the shield. I'm not the shield is going away, so is he gonna be? I guess maybe the show is gonna be him dealing with the fact that the idea of being Captain America or about being Captain America straight off the back, or maybe you know, it's the idea that you know, Falcon. Falcon is the Captain America with the name Falcon. Even with that name, he doesn't have to like call himself Captain America. He can just be the Falcon and still be the Captain America of the MCU. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm very interested in seeing how how they choose to play that and how it works. Um, Barry Zemo is going to be in it. He's going to get his freaking purple mask. His freaking purple mask is going to be in this show, you guys. We're going to get the actual... Evil, destructive, um, Nazi, destructive Baron Zemo with her own mask saying evil things to Captain America, and you know, that's kind of how it was how Sam Wilson really kind of started off in Rick Remender's run was when he fought Baron Zemo, and Baron Zemo was 
Over the first half, anyway, a pretty big part of Mule's Ham was the role of Captain America. I'm definitely interested in seeing how they um, play that. So, that's pretty awesome right off the back. Um, after that, we're going to be getting Eternals. Eternals. I don't know that much about. I mean, it was a very diverse cast. We know there's going to be a gay character. There's going to be some other, you know, um, um, diverse characters. Some um, different people of different ethnicity is going to be in it. But we don't really know that much about Eternals. Um, beyond that, we don't know what it's going to be really about. They kind of give us the. So the Eternals are they're basically like the Inhumans. Um, they're from space. I mean, they're not. They're not obviously not going the route of them being like the X Men, obviously. But you know, they're the Inhumans. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, next one is going to be Shang-Chi, which I'm really excited for that one, too. Um, Shang-Chi. And that one's going to be dealing with the Ten Rings, Ten Mandarin Rings, um, and all that. So that's going to be cool to see. And we're going to find the real Mandarin in the show, which is awesome. I right, we've got WandaVision, which, of course, is going to be dealing with WandaVision. And they're probably going to return in that. So it's still a stupid name for them to call it WandaVision. We didn't get into why they called it WandaVision either. Uh, just that it's going to be called WandaVision. Why not Scarlet Vision? I don't know. Whatever. Um, that's, going to, that's going to be interesting. The one that I'm actually pretty excited about is Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, you guys. Because they kind of said that it's going to be like a horror film. Yeah, but he's our team, though, which is, I mean, it's whatever. It's, but I'm kind of just going to see what they're going to do with horror and the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe and how that's going to all work into it. So I'm, I'm pretty interested either way in all, how that all, like, plays itself out in the MCU. Um, and then we're going to be getting um, Loki. Well, there's, I mean, it's, it's kind of what we expect. It's going to be the Loki from Endgame who went through our time. And we don't know how connected that's going to be. And it's a cool logo. It's whatever. It's going to be Loki. We've kind of gotten a lot of look in the MCU so far. So really, you're going to do more Marvel to um, tell us what this Loki is going to really be about. Because we don't really know right now. Um, so I'm going to also have the What If series on here. We know it's going to be animated and it's not going to be connected to anything really because it's a What If series. They did say it's going to have the Watcher in, which is cool. Um, but it's not connected to anything. So, I mean, it doesn't really need to be here, but I get why they have it here. If it, this is going to be part of Phase 4. After that, we did have Hawkeye with freaking Kate, with Kate freaking Bishop. Yes! Please, yes! 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 And then we're going to be getting, getting Jane Foster, Thor, and Thor, Love and Thunder. We're just still going to also have a Valkyrie, by the way, as Queen of Asgore. And more like also still have Pierce and more Hemsworth reprising as Thor as well. And I'm just, I'm really excited for that one. I'm really interested in seeing how both of these shows work out. Love Kate Bishop, Lay, Love Jane Foster, Thor. Love both of those characters. Can I wait to see what they do with those? I am really excited to see what happens with this new phase. Like this, this is going to be so awesome and exciting and fun. I just, I cannot wait, you guys. I cannot freaking wait to see what this is all going to be like and how it's all going to pan out. So that was phase four, you guys. Um, and this ever all Marvel stuff's coming out. I'm excited. I'm hyped. I'm ready for this. Let's do it. So, um, I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Now it's time for our wrap up. Let's give it.